Proverbs chapter 13, verse 9, just a phenomenal text of scripture right here. Phenomenal verse within the Bible. It says, the light of the righteous rejoices, but the lamp of the wicked goes out. So the light of the righteous rejoices. And so when we look at that, it said, well, what does that mean? The light of the righteous rejoices. So the righteous will rejoice in the light. And so when we look at that, we begin to understand that uh, we rejoice in our conversion. We re rejoice rejoice in our born again experience. We rejoice in our salvation. Uh, the Bible says that Jesus is light. And so when we begin to look at the fact that Jesus is light and the rest of the world that are apart from Jesus are in darkness. And so we also look at the fact that the Bible tells us that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. And so if you say you have fellowship with the light, yet you walk in darkness, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. But yet Yet those who do walk in God, those who are saved, those who are born again believers in Jesus Christ, they can rejoice and have joy in their salvation where their righteousness comes from. It doesn't come from their self. It comes from a relationship with Jesus Christ. And so when we look at that and begin to understand, we can rejoice in that conversion experience that we have with Jesus Christ. We can rejoice that we walk in the light and we don't walk in the darkness. And as children of the light, who are walking in the light, who are walking with God, who is light, we also walk in the knowledge and the fruit of the word of God. The Bible tells us that, 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 that thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And so when we look at the righteousness that is taught to us through the word of God and begin to study the word, Word of God and feed off of the Word of God because we have a relationship with God. We know God, and God's Word is how He speaks speaks to his children. And so as we, we, we ingest God's word and, and, and as we just feed off of it, well, we just light up with joy. And so the joy of the knowledge of God, the joy of the word of God, and we rejoice in that. We're glad in that. We rejoice in the righteousness that comes through a relationship with Jesus Christ. We rejoice in the growing of that relationship relationship in God's word and through the inner working of the power of the Holy Spirit that continues to shine the light of God within our lives and continues to navigate that path before us as children of God. And so as we continue to look at this text of scripture, it goes on and it gives us another side. But the poor, I'm sorry, but the lamp of the wicked goes out. The lamp of the wicked goes out. No, the wicked, they, they, they might have joy for a little bit, but that's fleeting joy. They might find pleasure in their sin, but the pleasure in their sin is only for a season. They, they might have a little flickering candle of what they call wisdom and what they call knowledge but it'll soon be blown out when they discover what they thought was truth and what they thought was knowledge and what they thought was wisdom wasn't anything at all. It was a lie. And when they discover all of those things, they're not going to have any joy. They're not going to have any pleasure. They're not going to have any gladness because it was rooted in things that were a lie. They're walking in darkness, but they don't realize they're walking in darkness. They're walking a dangerous path in darkness, being blinded by the darkness, not realizing that they're headed towards a cliff and they're about to fall off and absolute catastrophe is coming their way. But those who walk in the light can see what's out ahead of them. doesn't mean we know everything that's out there. But we know exactly what God wants us to know. We know where our eternal destiny is and that is in heaven with Jesus forever and ever and ever. We also know that regardless of what we face on this earth, bad times, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in a time of trouble. His light will be illumined in our life 
And friends, we rejoice in that. We find great joy in those truths because we walk and we live and we exist in the light.